Now, your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. The one thing that won't change is the beautiful conditions outside. That's right. If you take a look outside, you can see some beautiful conditions as we continue to see mostly clear skies out there. You can pretty much see the stars and the moon. Uh, right now, winds have calmed down just a bit. 13 miles per hour out towards Port Isabel, 7 miles per hour in Harlingen, and 5 miles per hour out towards Westlaco. We're seeing them uh, starting to slow down coming in from the east. Uh, as we saw yesterday, that front pushed through, bringing the winds in from the north, and that kept the air quality pretty pretty low and good for today. However, uh, tomorrow, uh, tonight and tomorrow, we're going to start seeing the winds shift starting to come in from the south. And of course, that will bring a lot of that agricultural smoke back in from Mexico. So uh, I'm going to drop that back to moderate for tomorrow as far as your air quality is concerned. And if you notice, the map's already updated. As we can see, a lot of that's going to encompass pretty much the entire Rio Grande Valley. So uh, if you have any respiratory issues tomorrow, try to stay indoors. Try not to do anything uh, stressful, any stressful activities outside. Side, uh, because you will start to feel the effects of that smoke. The next weather maker that we're actually seeing is another front that's going to be passing through the Rio Grande Valley. The weak front will be entering on Wednesday, and if you notice, it's going to push right through, bring us that chance of rain Wednesday night into Thursday morning, uh, about a 20% chance of thunderstorms, mostly out towards the west. Uh, but again, the entire Rio Grande Valley does have that chance of seeing some rain uh, as we move from Wednesday into Thursday as well. So we're going to be watching that front to see if it slows down, if it weakens, uh, really decreasing our chances of rain. Overlight tonight, you're expecting to hit around those mid to upper 60s across the valley, 73 degrees out towards Port Mansfield and 74 degrees out towards South Padre Island. Your coffee cast for tomorrow, expecting for our temperatures to remain around 72 degrees at around 7 a.m. So it's going to be a nice morning out there. You won't have to worry too much as you get that cup of joe. 80 degrees for tomorrow in case you're heading out towards the island. No rip current risks to be concerned about with your high tide at 1038 a.m. Surf height should be around 2 to 4 feet with your water temperature at around 78 degrees. The rest of the valley should be expecting some temperature lift from today. Day, 88 degrees in San Benito, 88 degrees out towards Brownsville tomorrow. Uh, Willacy County, you're looking at around 90 degrees out towards Raymondville. Anyone out towards Hidalgo County, you're looking around 90 degrees, 91 degrees if you're in McAllen. And then those in Star County moving up to around 93 degrees, especially if you're out towards Rio Grande City. As I mentioned before, we're expecting a two to four foot uh, surf out there with uh, nautical uh, wind gusts up to around 25 miles per hour. And your seven day forecast for your weekend is always in view. As I mentioned before, that front should start pushing through by Tuesday, or excuse me, by Wednesday, bringing in that chance of rain and dropping us down a few degrees by the time we reach Thursday into 89 degrees. But then temperatures are right back up to the mid 90s by the time we reach next weekend.